What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Let's get it. Shout out to the CIA. One love, FBI. You see the title of the stream. Grown damn man training. Playtime is over. That's right. Playtime is over. What do I mean by that? Let me use one of my, my homeboys sayings. The nerve of you niggas. I have been on YouTube for several years making hundreds of videos watching teaching trying to get you guys on the on that grown damn man path and you know what some of you brothers have actually some of you guys have actually taken the uh taken the advice but i gotta admit i'm i'm feeling some kind of way about a, a hangout c boogie did the other day and he was talking about just some basic them hygiene and uh i saw 300 plus dudes in there not knowing what the hell was going on and i'm like what the what i'm pissed i am pissed that you jabronis you you fools <laughs> it's like i got teenage boys so i'm about to have to do some grown damn man training because man real talk if you don't know how to groom yourself, take care of yourself, I don't, you need you don't need to be on YouTube talking about nothing about a woman, nothing about a woman, nothing about female nature, nothing. If you niggas still sleeping in socks, if you fools still sleeping in socks, yeah, that kind of shit. If you if that's one of you dudes, man, any any success you've had with a woman has just been purely by that chick. Grant you some pity pussy. That's the truth. Because they don't want dudes like you. They'll take you in, an, in a pinch, but they want grown damn men. What do I mean by grown damn men? I mean men that hold themselves, carry themselves like men. You know? And that's all the way around the board. You know, one things that I find is kind of funny is... uh. Some of you cat, some cats, they really think they know, but they don't know. So when they get on the panels or get in chat rooms, you can really, they really start telling on themselves. It's like, really? Like there was a conversation about like Axe body spray. And one of these dudes actually came in and said, what's wrong with Axe body spray? Ninja. If you a grown damn man talking about what's wrong with Axe body spray, the nerve of you niggas. Huh? What's wrong with Axe body spray? Every goddamn thing's wrong with Axe body spray. You a grown goddamn man. Act like one. Dress like one. Groom like one. So I'm about to get into it. 40 people watching. First off, hit the damn like button and uh, show some love in stream chat. That's what you do. That's what you do right there. You show some love because if you got any questions, it's the time to ask your big brother. I'm going to teach you some shit that your daddy should have taught you. But if you like most of us, mama wasn't married to your daddy. So who taught you this shit? Nobody. You didn't learn how to do any of this stuff. And uh, a lot of you guys were too preoccupied with other shit to even worry about it. So what does that mean? Got a lot of grown men out here still carrying themselves like boys, hygiene like boys, grooming like boys. 
and want man size results. So, I'll tell you first up, first and foremost, nerve you niggas. Women want men. Women want sexy men. Women want masculine men. Women want men that other women want. Appreciate the super chat. Hold on, let me, let me switch this out, man. I'm, I'm about to have to teach. Wherever you niggas, man, I can't believe this shit. I can't believe I'm having to actually teach on this. You know what? I'm actually put my uh, bar stool up so I can get a better angle. I can teach from a superior position. All right. What you dudes need to understand is double one. Any motherfucker coming in here wanting to play games with me today, I will. I am going to roast the shit out of you. If you want to come in talking about, oh man, that's you know the kind of stuff he's talking about is lame, weak, gay. I am going to roast the shit out of you. Make a gay comment because it's you. It's, it's the dudes that come in doing that kind of shit. That these ashy ass elbow. Uh, skid mark in the draws, dudes. That bitches that get mad because a pretty sweet, smooth, a pretty smooth motherfucker like myself come along and upgrade his bitch. That's what happens. These suckers get mad because when the real man come along and upgrade on his bitch. Let's get rid of it. Let's get with it. You know what? Playtime is over. Playtime is over. Playtime is over. All right, niggas. The reason you can't get any quality ass, the reason you can't keep a bitch, the reason you can't hold the woman, the reason you can't knock a bitch is because you don't look like a goddamn man. You look like a fucking child. You carry yourself like a fucking child. You do child shit. I look at some of you dudes, uh, profile pictures and I laugh. If you got a shirtless profile picture, put on a goddamn shirt. Nobody want to see your cuts. Nigga, it's better to actually do this. Masculine silhouette. Let's start from the bottom now. Get some damn shoes, niggas. You need six shoes. And I've made four videos telling your punk ass what six shoes you need. If you don't want to go invest money in your shoes and your footwear, you want to walk around wearing run over tennis shoes and beat up dress shoes, nigga, deal with the con deal with the outcome. Deal with these trash bitches that you get. That's right, I said it. Deal with these trash bitches you get. A woman that will fuck a man, a woman that will fuck a man with run over shoes, dusty ass shoes, ain't a bitch I want to deal with. See, you, you equate the fact because you can get out here and get some stanky ass, uh, you know, lower level pussy. You equate that as like you winning. No, you ain't winning. You ain't winning. Nigga, it, it, it's not winning if you fucking a bitch, if you fucking a, a vampire. You fucking one of these dry cleaning bitches. Nine to five. In by nine, out by five. I said on the other stream, give yourself the gift of goddamn daylight. Get a day walker, bitch. Get a bitch that you can walk around with in, sh in front of everybody. And everybody be like, damn. Jermaine came. Damn, that Jermaine is the man. He came up. See, a lot of you guys can't pull these kind of chicks because these chicks require something of you. If you don't know how to take care, let's talk about your shoes. Your shoes are the fun. Let's talk about the shoes. Let's get it. Motherfuckers. Grown goddamn man shoe. That's a boot. It's an ostrich. Do you know how to shine a shoe? This is why so many of you dudes should have gone to the military. At least in the military, they would have made you actually learn how to take care of yourself. Grooming is important in the military. This is why I recommend so many guys go to the military. Do you know how to shine a shoe? If you don't, the nerve you niggas. There are plenty of videos out on here on YouTube. I got videos out here know how to shine shoes. I see some of you guys' shoes, and I'm like, damn, your shoes just need to be shot. 
if you and, and here's the thing if a woman can look at your shoes and anticipate what your drawers look like what your house look like you don't see a man with well kept well well kept and clean shoes who has bad hygiene and grooming it matters women's sense of smell is anywhere from three to seven times more uh in tune more sensitive than a man they look at this stuff you may not think it's important but here's the thing you ain't fucking you so i don't care what you think i don't give a damn if you don't like what i'm saying the fact of the matter is you need to know this shit. I'm switching out glasses because I want to see which ones I want to teach in. Oh, these might be it. I like these. These are gray. So if you don't know how to shine your shoes, learn how to shine the shoes. I have videos on how to shine a shoe. Get, get you some uh, a spray bottle with some water, an old sock, a rag, get you some shoe cream, and then... Uh, shoe polish to match the color leather you have and go to work clean your damn shoes put shoe trees in your shoes take care of your shoes even your even your tennis shoes see you you jokers will actually go out here and buff up and clean your jordans and shit like this no 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 you need to you need to you're gonna wear whatever you need to clean them clean your shoes change your shoelaces put Foot powder in your shoes. Dr. Shows. It's coming up on the summertime. You need to have, <clears throat> don't, don't walk around wearing shoes with no socks. You need to have a no-show sock on there. That's right. And then some powder in there. <clears throat> Bottom line, that's what you do. You only need six shoes, an Oxford, a monk strap, a boot, a loafer, a driver, and a sneaker. That's it. And a man only needs six. Everything else is a lifestyle choice. So I don't want to see, and I ain't even really going in on the brand right now. I will say, you know what I say, anything under $150 is cheap because you can't get the parts. But the end of the thing, a man that takes care of his shoes, shoes are nice, clean, tight, even a spit shine on them. Boom. They got these little quick shine things where you can actually just go buy them four or five dollars and pop, 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 pop across your shoe. So I don't want to hear anything about, you know, I want to, uh, you know, these women are obese and this and that. When I look at you dusty, busty, crusted ass dudes, man, clean your goddamn shoes. Nerve you niggas. Next. Move on up the body. Let's talk about gentle. Let's, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about keeping your ass clean keeping your ass clean I don't care who sits around and tell you man I don't want one of them shower puffs I, I want a manly thing I just need a soap and a rag see what I see a lot of times guys come in here and they want to you know because a guy takes grooming and takes care of his body seriously nigga you we ain't bathing with lava soap okay you don't need pumice. You ain't out in the in a fucking mine. You're not up under a car all day. You are in an office environment somewhere. You're not really out here building bridges. So you know what you need? You do need a, a bar of Dove soap, not ivory, but Dove because it has body oils in it, and a rag. But you need to get a fucking shower puff that you change out weekly. And what do you bathe with? You can use Dove body wash. They have one for men. You can use, there is one line that you can use for all your men's products. And it's Jack Black. They got a body wash. They have an all over body wash. And then they have a turbo body wash. Either one of them works. But I like getting specialized stuff for special things. Tell you something. This is what I've been using here lately. This is from L'Occitane. This is $28, $25. And it lasts me uh, a month. It has almond oil in it. And, dude, this is an all-in-one. Put a little on a shower puff and clean yourself. 
Oh my God, life is good. You're not all dry and, and cracked up and everything else. You come out of the shower and you're feeling good. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me do something else. You, you motherfuckers, boy. All right. Yeah, get you a product. Find something that works for you. Jack Black is going to be my general recommendation for everybody who's watching now on the rebroadcast. What you really want to find is something that works for you. You don't want to walk out of the shit. You don't want stuff that's going to take the moisture out of your skin. You need something that's going to leave the moisture in there. When I talked about the shower puff, you know that you know what that is. But I mean you guys got one of these. Uh oh. The shower mitt. This a, this knocks off the dead skin. It exfoliates your skin. Hey man, we're gonna talk about it. You need to exfoliate, clear off them dead skin cells, so they all end up in your bed with beds. So the bed bugs have nothing to eat on. What about that? What's what's happening on your back? Your ass ain't Reed Richards. You need to get something to get that back. Especially as we get in the summertime, because if you can't if you can't put your hand on it and apply pressure, you got places all on your body, on your back, that just little places where funk, funk, and oil just kind of coagulates. And you out here talking about, man, you know what kind of cologne should I put on? Nigga, you ain't even clean. I shower twice a day, summertime three times. Quick shower, pop, pop. I like showering. And the thing is, you want to stay clean. So, Jack Black, body, body wash is cool. Man, if you got a question while I'm teaching, man, this is what you do. You want me to answer a question while I'm going? Uh, you need to put that in Super Chat, fam. There's, there's a link for Super Chat right there. So, um washing here's the thing after you get out of your wash what you do is i'm gonna tell you a couple of things one this is shea moisture daily hydration with coconut oil this is a great overall body lotion it's like nine dollars it's not that cheap equate stuff man if you got lotion that feels thin and oily man just throw that shit out <clears throat> that, that is whack. Whack, whack, whack. You need something that's going to absorb in your skin. The largest organ on your body is the skin, and you need to take care of it. So after you clean it and exfoliate, you need to uh, moisturize. I also like using this stuff right here. <clears throat> that same thing as this little skin, this uh, spray oil. I mean, skin oil. It comes in a spray bottle. You get out of your shower. I like to pat my dry, pat myself and then uh, put that oil, <laughs> couple of sprays, and just work it in to your damp skin. Then after that, moisturize. After that, you moisturize. From there, you are ready to go. You are ready to go. Now, you need... I told you you need a shower puff, something for your back. You need to exfoliate at least two or three times a week, not every day, every two to three days. But you also need to get one towel that goes to your armpits and your asshole. You need to get a towel and some soap and scrub under your armpits. And then use that same towel and apply a nice dose of soap and Spend two minutes washing your nuts. Don't just go one or two passes now, nigga. Wash your nuts. Wash up in the crack. Wash up under the tank. 
Yep. You need to do that. And then you need to rinse that motherfucker out, do it again, and wash down the crack of your ass. Yep, down the crack of your ass. And then you need to actually, yeah, you, and you need to look at it. And you need to wash until that motherfucker's clean. Then you need to actually point away from the shower, bend over, and let the goddamn water run through there. Yeah, nigga, clean your asshole. A woman ever licked your ass? Probably because it's got crustaceans in it, dude. Nervy, you niggas, man. Talking about you want a bit abroad to give you a blowjob and all saying you got fucking dingleberries and shit all up in your asshole. Asking me about what to wear, what smells good. Nigga, your ass stink. Most of you didn't don't even know how to wipe good. We're gonna get to that. All right. Washing, this is something we all need to talk about also. Washing your face. Fuck washing your face with your hands. I'm going to say it again. Fuck washing your face with your hands. Especially if you're prone to breakouts or pimples or, or some. This right here is a Mia, shower, a Mia 2. Six times more effective than using your hand. Look, dude, these things used to cost a lot of money. These things around 50 bucks. And you can go use this and use that very same Jack Black or T. Shanley or some daily facial cleanser. Not that bar soap. No, nigga. Do not wash your face with the same shit you put on your body. It is a different kind of skin. You need something different. You need something that's going to be able to be pH balanced and not dry your skin out. Jack Black does the job. There are two kinds of Jack Black I, I like. I like there's one that actually does works as a mask, but we're going to get onto this. There you go. You apply about the dime size portion, and then you actually. This goes on for a minute. Get your T zone. This is a T. And then you get your cheeks. And up around your nose. Wonder how we wanted to how don't break out. Go back to some of my other videos, especially when I was get take just starting my testosterone treatments. I was breaking out like a motherfucker because my skin wasn't getting clear, clean. I double wash. I wash once, dry, rinse, wash twice. That's how my skin stays clear. That's how you're like, how you look so good at 50? Because I take care of my skin. <clears throat> Every two days, <clears throat> I exfoliate. Again, that replenishes the skin, that sloughs away the old skin to, and allows new stuff to come shining through. All you need is a little, and you don't need to scrub that shit like you like you trying to get oil off one of your fingernails. Just relax it in. Um, Every four days, I actually use this, a power peel. This has glycolic acid in it. What this actually does, it's like when you see women go to the uh, dermatologist to get a skin peel, do them at home. These aren't as strong, but you actually, every four days, you just, your entire face, you, you, you don't, you do, you do it before you shave, and it actually, like where, where you have scarring and stuff like that, it actually breaks down those things and allows them to slough away. And this. See, this, this, and this, this is an eye, this is for your eyes. Comes in a package for a hundred bucks. See, after you wash your face, if you're over 30, you want to you start using a serum. Your skin gets old. You want to start using a serum. This is a protein booster. I wash, rinse, wash again, and then once I clean, I'll actually use my toner. Yep, it's a whole goddamn regimen. You're right. You want to be a good-looking motherfucker? You want, to, you want to stay looking good or you want to look like a beat-up truck? Tell me that shit, nigga. Do it. Because the proof is in the pudding. When you walk outside, the world tells you. Don't use cotton balls. Use a little pads. 
little circular disc, put a little on there. This is the best thing, man, because you can wash your face, but then you'll wash, and then you run this over there, and you'll see that there's still dirt and oil in your pores. That's why you got to take levels. I mean, you're out in the world with sun and ozone and all this other kind of stuff. That shit lands on your face. And then if you put any product on your hair, that comes out. You need to let, bring this shit out of your skin so it doesn't sit in there and make pimples and everything else. So wash, rinse, wash. Then you apply your daily toner. I do this every day. It's like an astringent without being an astringent. Jack Black has all in one set. So does this company called Murad, M-U-R-A-D. If you're prone to pimples or acne, the acne line is great. But I'm just telling you basic stuff. Then over 30, you want to apply a, a serum. Serum goes under. Then what are you going to do? You have to have a moisturizer. Do not put that damn lotion you have on your body on your goddamn face. This, look how thick this is. You see how thick that is? Look, 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 look at how thick that is. You see, that, that is thick. That's like icing. You don't put that on your face. And look at that. It is much lighter. It's like that cheap ass lotion you buy for your body. It's much lighter and it goes a lot further. See, you couldn't put all that on your face. You just need a little bit. Put it on your face and massage it all in. And you don't and you want to massage it in with the pads of your fingers all across your face. And work it in. And you want to do this while the preferably while the shower is still going. I mean while the room is still in the the air in the uh, bathroom is still warm. And, dude, all this takes me less than 15 minutes because you get good at it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Wash. I mean, uh, uh, toner. Psst. Protein booster. Serum. Psst. Moisturizer. Psst. And you want to moisturize here and get under your neck, too. Don't, don't just do your face. Do your neck so you don't have the turkey neck shit. But let me tell you the one of the most important things. Eye cream. Under your eye is the most sensitive skin. And a lot of dudes walk around because you live on, dude, just trust me. Every age you need, to, you need to be trying to use this. And you, the way you do it is you apply it on your ring finger. That's as much as you need. Rub it in. Pop, 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 rub into here. You actually dab it in. You don't rub. See, now I'm going to tell you, a lot of you guys never learned how to do this. You think, oh, man, this is some gay fag shit. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> this is what men do and should be doing. Taking care of yourself is not gay. We got to make this shit normal. It's not gay. When you go to uh, a nice gym, man, these guys in there got product and toner. So, you, so many of us think, so many black men in particular, we think the more rugged or rustic some shit is, the more manly. Ah, I, I, I'm not going to clean. I'm not going to do it, nigga. I'm going to clean my face with, I, I'm going to use Tide. That's how strong of a man I am. I'm going to wash my face with Don Dish. You do that. You go ahead and do that. And then when you got, and then when you look like who done it with your face up on the TV, go ahead. So that takes less than 15 minutes, start to finish. Oh, and here's another thing. Black people, too. You want to get a moisturizer that has an SPF at least 20, protect you from the sun. Dude, let me tell you, beautiful thing about Jack Black is you can buy all this shit in a one-stop shop thing. Boop. All, all together be like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Then get the other one, you know, that's $100. But then you have it. This should last you three months. So it's $30. 
your mileage may vary depending on what you want to do. So, grab something to drink. See what's going on in the chat room. So, at real talk. How many? How many of how many of your fathers? How many people have ever taught you guys how to do it? How many guys? How many guys? How many men out there were taught how to do this when they were a boy? Shut. Sure, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you were taught how to do this. That I'm truly a role model. Appreciate it. If you were taught how to do this, raise your hand. Raise your hand. And show me with one. Dexter's Lab says black soap with vitamins and minerals, hair cream, rinse out while bathing, comfortable underwear, and no more baggy clothes. That's right, man. All right. Most guys weren't taught how to do this. We were taught just to go wash. But but you see your mother and you, if you had sisters, they were in the bathroom forever. We weren't taught to prioritize ourselves. Let me tell you something. Moist, that, that uh, your skin moisturizer, your facial moisturizer, it comes in. You can even have some that are tinted. So let's say you have like, uh, especially for for white guys or Asian guys, you know, if you have skin discoloration, it all just kind of works together. See, we gotta. I am gonna make it cool to be a, a well-groomed, sexy man. That's my whole point. You don't want to. You don't want to do all the shit I talk about on my channel if you don't clean your body first, man. Yeah. Some guys say learn. Some guys say they learn. All right, let me let's talk about something else. Give me a sec, give me a second, guys. Well, I don't date my women my age. I don't have to. I date, I date hot women. Because <laughs> I take care of myself. They can get a pair of clippers. Shout out to Anger Man Channel. He hooked me up with this pair. This is the wall, and this is the, uh, the detailer. Then keep your beard at a nice level. Keep your lines nice and tight. Clippers. Three guards and a brush on this. 70 bucks. Great investment. You know what else you do with this? Shave your fucking nuts. Time to talk about Big Al and the Twins. It's time to talk about how to keep your dick looking, keeping your balls on fleck. It is springtime. And there is nothing worse than spring and summertime than you Motherfuckers out here with swamp crotch and swamp ass. No chick wants to smell your sweaty balls, your salty balls. Shave your shit. Use the use the lowest guard and keep that shit clean. Yep, make a design. You don't have to go bald down there, but you need to shave. Put your goddamn glasses on and make sure. And for you, when you starting to shave down the shaft of your dick, you want to go against the grain. Well, I, I do because my hair is long. But you don't want to go completely bald because I don't want you guys getting ingrown hairs and things like that. This is going to be weird at first, if, especially if you've never done it. But I'm going to tell you. When you shave your balls and, and, and manscape down there, it is such a relieving feeling. You can just, feel, it's not as warm, it's not as hot down there. And honestly, women love to service a well 
manicured lawn. They do, man. You know, you can decide if you want to. I say shave your nuts too. You don't want hairs growing everywhere. You can decide the length, but you need to keep it maintained. Speaking of which, let's get into the uh, big elephant in the room. I mean, you guys know what this is. What's that for? These are Equate flushable wipes. What are these for? What are these for? Equate flushable wipes. Somebody raise your hand. Tell me what these are for. Wipe your ass, niggas. Stop wiping your ass with paper with, with toilet tissue. These need to sit right on right behind your toilet. And after you take a shit, you wipe until the brown is gone. And yes, you also need to put your index finger, your, your middle finger up and around your bunghole a little bit, nigga. Yeah, you need to go not all not no freaky shit now. Don't get no good stupid. But you need to make sure you clean out to where you don't want no fucking dingleberries, man. And you cannot wipe yourself clean enough with toilet tissue. Because it's not moisturized. We don't have a bidet where you can actually spray that water on your ass. Nigga, leave these in your bathroom. Bitches will appreciate it. Niggas will appreciate it. Wipe your ass with these and then dry off with paper towel, with uh, toilet paper. And toilet paper, stop buying that single ply shit. Get double ply, some Charmin, some shit, man. Take care of your asshole. You're gonna have a woman stick her tongue up in it. She might as well, but not might as well be well kept for. I'll show you something else. As we get into the summer, spring and summertime, invest in these. These are called dude wipes. After you do your shower and all that other stuff, and that's your morning routine. But what happens? You, you at work and you're just not feeling fresh. You're just not feeling as clean as you want to. Do wipes. This is shower in a shower in a bag. You can wipe your face. I use this on my face often during the spring and summer because I hate a dirty face, man. Especially if you wear glasses, it gets us all in your shit. Wipe your face, wipe behind your ears, wipe your neck. Yep, dude wipes. Dude wipes. Keep them, uh, some at your office, keep them in your bathroom. If you're not the guy that wants to take two, three showers a day, you just want to take a shower, just freshen up. Dude wipes a life, nigga. Maintain your shit. All right, let's talk about something else. How many guys have ever gone and got a, a manicure? If you've never gone and got a manicure, the nerve of you niggas. You are not a grown goddamn man with raggedy ass nails. You can I've seen so many cool fly looking dudes, man, with fingernails that just look like shit. A woman is looking at your hands and imagining her your fingers inside her vagina. She wants she don't want your shit to look like you've been digging from your digging in the mine. Go get a manicure. But I know some of you guys are on a budget. I know some of you guys on a budget, so what you need to do is you need to invest in a clipper set. Fingernail clipper, toenail clipper, nose, clip them damn nose hairs, niggas. Don't be having the hairs growing out everywhere. Clip your shits. And notice how they're blunted at the end, like kindergarten scissors. And then a fingernail file. All right. So... In between the time of going to get your professional manicure or, or your pedicure, as it were, you need to keep your shit trimmed. Keep your shit trimmed at a great length and get you a real fingernail file. Some of that coarse shit. Clean your, uh, clip your nails, clean out from under your nails, and just keep them buffed. But for, a, for 99 cent, you can get a manicure uh, 
a manicure, uh, one of these things. Hold on. I think I have another one. All right, so there's one side that's rough and it takes away the ridges. How y'all doing, man? Y'all learn anything? Y'all learn anything right now? Trust me, man. Little, uh, little Heidi come by your house and she see this kind of shit in your bathroom. She's getting wet. She's like, ooh. At least this dude take care of himself. Also, man, you want to get a satin pillowcase. You know, you don't want to have women over there fucking their, their hair messing with you. All right. See that? Takes away the ridges and the nail. Then you, what you want to do is it'll smooth. Smooth that same very nail. After you remove the ridges, you want to smooth it. See that? See how it's starting to shine? Then you want to actually buff that motherfucker to a fine. See, I'm not into fingernail polish. To each his own, but that's just a bridge too far for me. You know, no homo. That's what you do. It's what you do, but it's just not me. So, let me show you before and after. Before. See that thumb? Is that a good picture? After. Let's see if you can see a difference. One is shiny, and the other is it. Save yourself 20 bucks. Do it at home. Also, grown men have fucking tweezers. Some tweezers, niggas. Plucking random errant fucking hairs, errant eyebrows and shit. Tweezers. <clears throat> Once you get G, get some cuticle scissors. Yeah, you really can't tell with the lighting, but uh, yeah, this is this this actually is. It's high shine. It's almost, yeah, it's buffed. I wish I could show you the difference. Maybe if I turn the light down. No, that's not going to do it. Oh, well. Yeah. Anyway, trust me, I'm telling the truth. All right. Another thing. After you start clipping your, keeping your nails and stuff taken care of, it's the same thing with your feet. Clip your toenails, keep your toenails. Dude, you will fuck up some quality loving if you hit a chick with them eagle claws. Man, keep them shits cleaned, manicured, and taken care of, man. I cannot stress. What does see, Boogie? Stop sleeping in your socks? Dude, you want this in your life. <clears throat> I'm not a big pedicure dude, uh, but I will go, but my stuff stays manicured. I can take off my shoes and so take off my shoes and socks anytime and be cool. You should be able to be that way too. You also want to make sure if you got this shea, that shea moisture oil, this is good for hand cream because your hands tend to stay drier or th other things. And you want to make sure you know, around your, your cuticles, that they stay kind of hydrated. So I love this stuff right here, man. This is pure just like shea butter. Pure shea butter. What I do is I'll take that and I'll just apply it on each nail. It's better than cuticle oil. The stuff they put on your fingers at uh, the manicure spot. 
and it just keeps the uh, it keeps the skin around your fingers uh, from cracking. Dude, you do this. You do your you, you clip your fingernails twice a week because they grow on men. Twice a week, you know. You got your facial your facial care regimen. You know, you do that morning and afternoon. Keep your face clear. As anything else, you'll get better and better with time to where I am out of the door in 30 minutes. That shower, dressed, and routine. That's what you do. But here's the upside about it. Women know, women appreciate a man who takes care of himself. Let's get back down to Big Al and the twins. You already got, you guys know what this is? Let me just show you what you need. That's the best one on the market. Chassis. Um, Jack Black also has one called Dry Down. I like it because it has a little green tea in it. But do Chassis, it's like having uh, fairies blow on your nuts. You, you apply down, you sprinkle on your nuts, you take some and throw up, on, throw up under your tank, then you put some down the crack of your ass. Then you hit each pit. Guys, there is nothing like having chassis. It doesn't, and unlike most other things out on the market, chassis powder won't clump up when you start to perspire. It's it's actually scientifically formulated to not do that. It's actually the, the leading thing on the market. See, like as we get into the summer, you may need to get um, certain kind of t-shirts. There are people who suffer from hyperhidrosis. I sweat a lot from my face. So I'm really cautious, cognizant about what I use with my face. That's why I talk about those oil blotting pads. You know, keep your face clear. You know, it's foolish to not talk about this kind of shit. And I love when punk ass dudes come on here trying to talk about men, men talking about oil blotting pads. Man, fuck your fag. Fuck, go somewhere else. See, dudes like that, dudes like that want you to not take care of yourself so they can start, because they don't want to compete. They fear, I love, I love dudes who are homophobic and fear change, man, because these are the dudes that are so easy to beat. You take, you, you beat them on their own level. Take care of yourself. Um, what else? Yeah, man, chassis powder, next level shit. And I'm a cyclist. I ride my bike outdoors, man. Keeping your nuts clean, keeping your nuts um, fresh. It's a, it's a whole, it's another worldly experience, man. Your 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 body will appreciate it, your mind will appreciate it, women appreciate it. Trust me. That's it. So you want to have powder in your shoes, on your sack, under arms, you know. Um, where else are we gonna get to? Yeah, man, take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself because it says something about, you know, human beings are pattern recognition machines. It says something to people that a man takes care of himself. Now, everything I've told you about is not any extreme shit. Nothing over the top. Nothing that can't be done for blue collar, white collar, blue collar, white collar. It can be done at any octane level. Any budget. You know, it just depends on the stuff you want to use. Now, <clears throat> yeah, you cycle, man. There's something else. I call I, there's this thing called uh nuts. Um uh, when you cycle, man, you gotta you gotta keep the friction down between your 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 thighs on your sack. Yeah, man, there's all kind of shit I use when I cycle, man. Keep the boys in shape. All right. So next, smell like goddamn man. 
You motherfuckers coming over here talking about Axe Baby Powder, I mean, Axe Body Spray, and all this other kind of, You on the wrong goddamn channel. This grown man channel. Axe Body Spray and all that shit went out in junior high. It had its place. Um, oh, what I'm thinking about. Hold on. Goodbye, my love. Nerve of these niggas, man. Talk about some fucking axe body spray over here. What the fuck? You got the wrong goddamn channel. All right. So, smelling like a goddamn man. For my guys who have allergies, I have allergies too. <clears throat> Let me recommend something. One of my favorite fragrances on the planet. Molecule 01. God, I love this stuff. Won't fuck with your allergies. And it just amplifies your natural body chemistry. If you watch my channel, you know this is my role fucking dog. Women love this shit. The only thing that women love more is Molecule 02. These are perfect for guys with allergies. You can use them to in the, by themselves. In fact, let's do that right goddamn now. nice burst of kind of a cedar kind of thing and the thing is is it, you can't overspray this and it people around you can smell it but you you just catch wafts of it every now and then this amberoxin molecule or two is in so many popular fragrances today sex in a bag see boogie you need to check these out all right but <clears throat> For see, I uh, I love my actual body oils too. These are things I got from the Middle Eastern brothers. You know these different little oils, a dab will do you. You know this kind of shit, to where you don't need to spray a lot. You just get a little dab of the oil. Boop. You see the viscosity of that. See the viscosity of that stuff. That. I'm just gonna rub this in because I don't want it to sit there, dude. I did a consult today with a brother in Riyadh. Man, woo, yeah, baby. Mm. Oils. You can go to the you can go to the oil man at the at the pawn shop or at the Af African bazaar. But there are plenty of places to sell. Egyptian musks, musks, ouds, um, roses. I mean, um, musks are gonna be your best. But uh, let's get on into it. Smell like a goddamn man. Let me tell you about my favorite goddamn man fragrance. Yeah, yeah, Saudi Arabia today, brother. Yeah, I actually, he's a, actually a medical doctor. Cool brother, man. Cool brother. My favorite goddamn man fragrance. Time for gray vetiver. This shit is well how a man should smell. The Marlboro man steps off the billboard. I wore this on my birthday and I forgot how goddamn good this smells. Your grandfather, your grandfather, your grandfather's grandfather, motherfucking Kuta Kinte could have wore this shit and everybody still would have smelled good. This is how vetiver is a man fragrance. And this is probably the, they should charge three times the money for this shit. Tom Ford, great vetiver, all year, all season, all reason. Women love it. 
If you're under 30, get the older toilet. If you're over 30, get the older parfum. Office friendly. This is my shit. It's my shit. My personal favorite shit. Everything I'm gonna show you guys is on the mass market. You guys have heard me talk about this. Aqua di Gio Profumo, the best designer fragrance on the planet, period. Uh, this shit, you look at, if you buy a retail, you look at about 120, but you know, you can get it on like fragrance, uh, fragrancenet.com or fragrancex, type some sites in here. Uh, fragrancenet.com as it uh, sites like or fragrance X these are places that uh, I know and trust best designer fragrance on the planet period aqua di Joe, the original was the best selling men's fragrance of all time they took it and made it even better they put in patchouli and incense <sighs> As much as I love Tom Ford Great Vetiver, and I do, this is the one fragrance I recommend to anybody. And here's the thing, this is sexy. This is manly, this is sexy. Matter of fact, I just enjoy this shit this much. Okay, I got a video saying the six fragrances any guy can eat. This is great. If you this is like my medical doctor, lawyer, uh, I mean, uh, you know, Wall Street broker kind of thing. This is my, this is what you would wear, you know. This is also a club banger. Okay, so let's keep on moving. Um, Blue de Chanel, the most, the very, this is one that it's Chanel. <laughs> it's always gonna be good. Again, all of these are bangers. This is the parfum version. They have EDT, EDP, and the parfum. I like the parfum version better. This is probably the most universally liked fragrance of them all. Fragrance heads kind of like, man, it's kind of, there's nothing special about it, but that's the thing. It's very special because it doesn't go over the top in anything. Um, I didn't bring it with me. Dior Sauvage sits over here. These two are very well liked and respected and highly complimented. Let's say you want to be around in an office environment. Let's say you're going to go to a job interview or something like that. Or you're going to be around people. And you're not sure if fragrance offends anybody, but you want to smell good and smell like a man. Prada Loam. Iris base, clean, fresh fragrance. Again, I'm going to I'm showing you guys things that are universally liked, complimented, masculine. Nothing feminine, nothing girly about any of them. No question whether people like them. These, this, these could be the, some of the most confident fragrances of all time. This one, these two, are hands down the office, the office favorites. Hands down, the office favorites. Slight edge to this one, <clears throat> and then of course. So much love for this fragrance. Jesus Christ. Springtime, Terra and Mez. This has an orange citrus kind of vetiver. It has everything I like about this fragrance and it puts some citrus in it. This stuff starts conversations. This stuff, this is the stuff you spray on and women are just be like, I was gonna leave. I just wanna sit over here and smell him. Now, I'm not going to talk about Nasamad. I'm not talking about any of those. Nope. I'm not. Versace Eros Flame. Nope. Mm -mm. All those, everything y'all are talking about are personal favorites. I'm talking about universal. I'm talking about any continent. Any continent, any season. Teddy Hermes, Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette, but it's this. Trust me. So let me let me hold these up again. Time for a great vetiver. Tere MS, okay. Blue de Chanel. Prada Loam. Fucking hands ain't that big. Aqua di Gio Profumo. 
O'Shea, for my, my guys who are in medicine, if you're in if you're in if you're in the hospital, you're around patients, you'll love this. Molecule, if you're worried about people with allergies, molecule or one. I can't say enough good things about this. You know, it, it's it's an aroma chemical. It's not a fragrance, it's an aroma. Both of these, molecule or one, molecule or two. But if I were, if I were in a if I were in a hospital, if I were on some ER kind of shit, I would wear this every day. Because it is universally inoffensive. And it smells so goddamn good. God, I love this shit. All right. So let's get on into the I'm a sexy motherfucker. And I want to smell like a sexy man, you know, dressed in black with a nice pocket square. Valentino Uomo, Intense. This is another iris-based fragrance, but it has tonka bean in it. It's, it's a little sweeter. This is a date night, sexy, panty drop, romantic fragrance. Um, it's Big Brother is Dior Homme Intense, but that's a little harder to get to. You can get this anywhere. And this actually smells more mature, in my opinion. Valentino Uomo, Intense. This is one you want to wear when you want to just make her go, oh, God. Oh, you smell so goddamn good. When you want her to get wet by just sniffing you, that's it. You guys, I made a video where I said the reason you're not getting enough compliments, a reason why you're not getting attention, and I showed you guys me real world out people complimenting me on that one day. If you didn't see that video, it's about a year and a half ago. Real world, I went out and about doing my regular day shit, and people were complimenting me everywhere I went. I filmed it, and I made a video about it. The fragrance I was wearing that day, Molecule 01. But I had it topped off with a little bit of this. Tom Ford Noir. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Behind each ear. Oh, God, I love this stuff. Yeah, you can get this at Macy's or Nordstrom. Yeah, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Women love this stuff. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This is another date night special occasion shit. You know, these are sweeter, so I wouldn't put these in the office. But you could. But if you want, these are your sexy motherfucker colognes. You sexy motherfucker. These are you sexy motherfucker colognes. And then if I'm going to put another one in there, I'll put Molecule 02 in here. It's your sexy motherfucker cologne. You can actually wear this with these. Drum roll, please. But, hands down, no question in this man's opinion, for the sexiest motherfucking designer fragrance in the world for date night romantic situations, period. Not even close, in my opinion. Spice Bomb Extreme. Nigga, please. This shit right here. This shit right here. Buy it. Just buy it. Just buy it. Just buy it. Just trust me, buy it. You see it in Sephora, just buy it. You see it in Macy's, buy it. See it in Dillard, just buy it. Even if you hate it, you can throw it on, you can sell it, throw it on eBay and get your money right back. They took everything I liked about the original Spice Bomb, which has pink pepper in it, but it has this kind of, remember you people used to chew bubble, chew like your mama had gum, it was like Wrigley Spearmint gum, and all that other kind of shit, peppermint, and you know, you were you were excited when you somebody had juicy fruit because the other gums were just kind of like grandma mint kind of shit. Then they fucked around and made something big red and big red. Everybody was niggas was chewing niggas was eating a pack of big red at a time. You know, you eat one of them, you you break a piece of spearmint, Wrigley spearmint, and you break it in half, and you do that, you do that with that shit. You like okay, it's better than spit. Get rid of it. 
niggas was niggas was opening big big red big ass chunk of shit in their mouth. It has that kind of big red element. Women love this shit. And let me tell you, <clears throat> on melanated skin, fucking rap. Fucking rap. It's done. It's a fucking rap. Ugly dudes gain two and a half, three points with this. I mean, you can be a three and jump your ass up to a, a strong five and a half or six. If you've done a push up or two and then take care of what I'm talking about, a grooming, your ass is nearly a fucking Adonis. Just don't say the wrong shit and you in. <coughs> Spice bombs, $120, man. Well, again, bro, on this channel, I got to be real, dude. $120. I'm an image consultant. I'm a stylist. Um, it costs. But here's the thing. The six fragrances you would need, I would recommend, would be Teddy Hermes, a Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, Blue de Chanel, Aqua de Gio Profumo, Spice Bomb Extreme, and just buy... For, to make the general list, I would go Valentino Warmo Intense for the general list, but I would actually swap that. This is my personal favorite. But more people like Valentino Warmo Intense. Now, we're going to round back out. My dudes with allergies, Molecule 01, Molecule 02. Here's another thing. In the summertime, you can't overspray this shit. You can never go wrong. But the thing is, once you groomed yourself and all that stuff, do what I'm basically telling you is you don't have to walk around in a suit like me. I'm a bougie dude, and I do well at being bougie. That's what the fuck I do. I always have been, and I'm good with it. You don't have to participate in suit Saturdays. You can be in joggers, uh, a polo shirt, and some, and some Stan Smiths. But if you got this on, and you've done everything else I've talked about? You're the man. See, this is the shit that we didn't learn from our pops when we was growing up. It's the shit we didn't learn. And it's also shit a lot of dudes don't want to put you up on game on because a lot of times guys uh, figure out the little secret formula. They're like, man, shit, I don't want to give up my advantage. I'm going to give up my advantage. I love, I love seeing men look good and smell good. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Got, you guys keep asking about all these other colognes. I, I'm, I've already I've made my recommendations for the reasons. Dude, I'm looking, and hear me explain something. It's not that any of them are bad or not as good as the other. They're, they're just not universally worldwide acceptable. I got a worldwide audience that's going to see this. And the things you guys are talking about, does not they don't they won't work in church they won't work on wall street they won't work in the oil field they got to work in all these different environments everything i've told you and and they all have to smell like a, a man no question whether or not you're a man the only one that actually people may actually have a question about maybe this one because of an iris note in it but this actually smells more masculine than it's it's forerunner so let me look in the chat room See, M7, don't worry about trying to spend all that money. It, it gets it, get M7 absolute, smells almost the same. Yeah, somebody says, I get more compliments, Aqua Dojo Profumo. Yeah, this one? I I don't just say shit to be saying shit. When I say it's the best on the, on the planet, period, I mean it. Yeah. Yep, nothing's changed. Best on the planet, period. This is some James Bond kind of shit. But everybody don't want to be goddamn James Bond. Some people think James Bond's a, a pretentious, you know, stiff asshole. This, you want to wear this when you want to go out to those, you know, beach, I mean, you know, beach parties and uh pool parties and picnics, outdoor activities. 
That citrus in here catches the air. Man. See, the thing is, I love talking to guys about this kind of shit because I be this. I do this because I be this. And I tell you right now, if you just trust me, fuck what you think about me. Fuck what you may think. This dude's, this nigga's old. He don't get it. He's, he's a sucker. He corny. Fuck what you think about me. Take, eat, take the information. Do what you will. Um, how to apply it subtly. Don't apply shit subtly, man. Put some goddamn fragrance on. Well, why the fuck you want to be subtle? And you, you apply it here, here, base of your throat, and then I apply on the back of each hand because I talk with my hand so it gets in the air. Um, but honestly, in the summertime, you can apply on each wrist if you want to, but I prefer to, if you're wearing short sleeve shirts, to apply on the bend of each elbow. Let me tell you something. You dudes always worrying about people. You know, I don't want to choke people out. And, you know, you know, I have I've only had it happen one time where someone's like, your cologne is a it's a little bit much. But you know what happened? People in the office said, shut up. We like it. Look, man. Attract motherfuckers to you. What do I call What do I say about cologne? Spray on some opportunity. Season yourself. Dude, you put this on, you're spraying on opportunity. Because you walk by somebody, and she can be like, ooh, he smelled good. Gotcha, bitch. Opportunity. Spray on some opportunity. <clears throat> you can't afford it? Save some money, man. Get a, well, here's the thing. You say you can't afford it, but you know what I'm going to tell you? If you ain't working at least 60 hours a week, I don't want to hear any shit about it. You can't afford it. If you ain't working 60 hours a week, I don't want to hear shit about your money problems. Carry your ass out to on cue, 7 Eleven, quick trip, part time. They pay $13 to $15 an hour. You got more time than money. Get your ass out there and go to work. Sell some shit on eBay. Find a side hustle. Do some shit. Dude, you're on a men's self improvement channel, man. What, you think I'm going to just stop saying you got to invest in yourself? This motherfucker O'Shea is in Poland in medical school. I mean, hundreds, I mean, tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars is he racking up. See, the reason you guys don't want to go out and invest in yourself is because, you know, the reason why guys don't want to go out and invest in themselves is because that takes away excuses. Are you going to do the work? See, because when you're looking good, smelling good and got your grooming together, then you got to get your ass outside of the house. Like tomorrow, your ass need to be up bright and early in the morning, get the fuck out of the house and be gone all day. You need to be gone out of the house. Wake up, 7 o'clock, because you slept in, be out of the house by 10 o'clock, and bring your ass home by 10 o'clock. Gone all day. And if that fucks you up, be like, what would I do all day on Saturday? Then you need a broader life. Go to, Whole Foods, go to the gym. That's why a lot of you guys need to go to the gym. I've already talked about this. You need a life. And see, when you're doing all this, you will be you, you will feel better and you'll want to get out there. I'm going to say another thing. Grown damn men they grown, need some sunglasses. Everything I do has to pass the white t-shirt test. It's springtime. You don't have to do what I do as far as eyewear and stuff. I know that's outside of most people's budget. But you do need a simple pair of aviators. Aviator sunglasses look good on everyone. They're classic and they're masculine. It's that Top Gun shit. Yeah, nigga, take a deep breath. Mm-hmm, that gradient, yeah, that's what's up. Every guy looks good in these. Every facial shape, every color, every style personality. It's the one pair that fits. Aviators. You can have on a cool white T-shirt, some jeans, Stan Smith, smelling good. That's it. I need you to go get a watch, dude. And I need you to get more than just the Apple Watch. Apple Watch is good for the gym and shit. But go get you a nice little Seiko. Um, nice little Seiko watch. You know, spend a, you know, spend $150 on that joint. $200. Nice, simple Seiko. 
You guys know I'm big on risk game. I'm not rocking any right now. Uh, but your bracelets, you know, I, I like silver more than uh than I like gold these days. But whatever, um, whatever it is, you need to actually get a polishing cloth and keep that stuff clean. See, all your stuff needs to be clean. You can have the best kind of game and everything else. You get a bitch back to your house, your bed ain't made up, it, it smells funny in there, dude, you, you're going to lose. See, I'm talking about what you put on your body. Everybody look good in these. Thank you for the, the Seiko suggestions. Okay. You got a car? I need you to keep that thing clean. Especially the inside. What's going on here? I need you to keep that thing clean, especially on the inside. I need you to let me use some of the some of some of the samples. Your your car needs to be the best definition of sexy on the inside. It needs to be cleaned. That means the dashboard armor all and stuff. No dust anywhere else in it. You need to go get you one of them little trees. I like vanilla aroma myself. Vanilla aroma. And so when a bitch come in and sit down in your car, you ain't got Skittles and French fry wrappers and shit, man. You look, you need to look like a grown goddamn man. I don't care what kind of car it is. It needs to be clean. The outside needs to be clean. What do you need to do on the tires? You need to put that silicone shit on there. Not armor all. You need to silicone them down. You need to clean your wheels, whether they're chrome or they're alloy. It's your whatever your car is, that's your car. Keep it clean. That's what you do. Let's talk about your house, gentlemen. <clears throat> you need a room spray. This is called Marshmallow Fireside. It's from Bath and Body Works. You know what it smells like? It smells like By the Fireplace from Replica. Woo wee. Love this shit. House always smells good. You go to TJ Maxx or Marshall's and for $7, get you some generic ass candles. Black cedar, you need to get masculine smells, leathers, woods, cypresses, things like that. You know, avoid the, you know, 99 cent jobs, you know, to smell like apples and cinnamon and shit like that. You need to be smelling like a man. Um, I love incense. I burn incense all the time. Um, Palo Santo wood, which is holy wood. Um, I like this particular kind of incense because it's a... Uh, it's compressed sage. Again, man shit. <clears throat> the oils I was talking about earlier, you can actually put those in an incense burner and, and, and have your house smell like that. But, but what needs to happen, though, is your car needs to be clean, detailed out. When, the, when you open your door, you need to be greeted with peace, serenity, and sexiness. You need to open your door and be greeted with peace, serenity, and sexiness. I mean, you need to open your door and you don't need to be hit with the cat litter or smell like dog or, or fucking three-day-old, uh, you know, uh, smell like laundry and shit. It needs to smell good because you need to assume that you bring her back a babe for the first time and she needs to smell what your asshole's going to smell like. If your house stinks, she's going to think your asshole stink. I didn't make the rules. <clears throat> keep it just smelling masculine have candles strategically placed throughout your house you need to have one in your bathroom so when she goes in there and use the bathroom she can light that motherfucker you need to have two in your bedroom on each nightstand you need to have one on the um, in the kitchen and in the dining room you need to be able to so each place can have its own unique kind of smell but work well together if you want to just burn incense sticks, that's cool too. Thing is, depending upon how your uh, 
Better to burn candles, incense with the soot and that kind of stuff. Guys, you need a vacuum cleaner. You need a vacuum cleaner because you need to vacuum your shit. And you need to actually shampoo your carpet. Shampoo your shit. Clean it. Make a rule. No, you can't wear shoes in the house. I love this rule. You know why? Because the bitch come over to my house, she got to take her shoes off. You know what that means? That means she already she close to being naked already. Cause I want to take I want to take her shoes off so she can feel the fun feel the fun that is me. Get on my carpet and notice that it's soft and plush. I can see what her toes look like. And she's walking and and she's not feeling you know Fruit Loops and you know Dorito cracks and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, gentlemen. You need a bottle of white Zinfandel in the refrigerator. Or Riesling. Fucking with black women, you need to have Riesling and white Zinfandel. You fucking with all stripes of women, you need to have a bottle of Chardonnay. On deck. Bottle of Chardonnay on deck. You need to have a bottle of good tequila. Patron Silver. See, this ain't no broke shit. This ain't no little boy shit. It's grown man shit. You have a bottle of good tequila. You need to have your shit, which needs to be some brown liquor, whether it's bourbon or scotch. You need a little woman stuff. They need the wine, rums, those kind of things. You work your way up to a full bar. You know, but you need to have that bottle of wine because you want to be able to ask, hey, let's go up and let's go up and have a drink. How many of you motherfuckers actually can invite her brought up to your house and have a drink and actually make her a drink? What you're really saying is, let's go fuck. She gets it. Let's go have a drink. And pour her something that she actually is like, oh. He's got Barney Intake Cave Collection in here? Oh. You want to know what some good wines are to, to impress women? We can talk about it. Keep the shit in there. Bottle of water, gentlemen. You need bottled water in the refrigerator for your company. And a, and the occasional Avion or Perrier, especially if you're fucking with 92 octane bitches, you need that bougie shit in there. But you should want that anyway because you like that shit. When you are talking about your your place, it needs to be the best definition of a bachelor pad. Thank you, Simple, for the catchphrase. It needs to be some of that Austin Powers kind of shit. You need to be able to, in, in pretty quick order, be able to click on some sexy ass music. That's what you need to be able to do. Am I lying? I mean, if I'm lying, somebody tell me I'm lying. Light the candle. Toast to a good evening. To a beautiful future. Clink. Gotcha, bitch. That's what you need to be doing. What you need to do? Attraction, dominance, and seduction. You need to be, you've already talked about dominating. Then there's the seduction piece. Then when it's time to fuck, you can put on the, you can, you can, the fucking music is completely different than that. I mean, you'll get to the, you'll get to the biggie. You, you must be used to me spend, you'll get to that part. But see, this is the kind of shit that she be like, I ain't never met a motherfucker like that before. 
Oop, I said, motherfucker, oh, girl, I can't call him. I ain't never met a dude like that before. Man, everything about him was just on point. The way to do walk, the way to do talk. You know, he sat down and he was just, his silhouette was just cool. And I looked at his hands, girl, and his hands were nice. And his, yeah, just his breath smelled good. His teeth was his together. He had a good smile. And I was just like, damn. And we got, went out to this car and his car was, you know, he ain't driving a Mercedes or a girl, but her shit was nice and clean. It smelled good. The air conditioner was cold. The music was cool. The conversation was chill. We had a good night. So, girl, I decided to go back to his house because he asked me back. <clears throat> He asked me to come back to his house and have a drink. I'm like, how many niggas? Whoever asked you to come back to the house with a drink? Those dudes ain't got nothing. Girl, he actually had some cool wine up there. We had a nice little Farniente white Zinfandel or a cave collection. And we was in there. <laughs> Next thing I know, he's got some music playing, the candles light, and we clinking glasses. <laughs> Next thing I know, this nigga, I'm fixing this nigga French toast. That's you. That's you. That's grown man shit. That's you. The details may differ, but the outcome remains the same. When she's wiping your balls off with the warm towel, and she clean her, cleaning you off, she bring the baby wipe in and wiping all up in your ass because she done been up in there. Yeah, and then when she doing all that shit and you just laid back, Chilling, and she come in with the fucking French toast. Cause you, who you think's winning there? She is. She been waiting for a man like this forever. You think she's gonna go fuck this up? For who? Them Buster ass dudes, motherfuckers with Kool Aid. And purple drink, the motherfuckers with axe body spray and, 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 the, and, the, and the gym socks in the bed. Those niggas, she gonna fuck this up for that. No, nigga, you the upgrade. So I told you last night, nerve you niggas, man. It's time to grow the fuck up. Another piece. See, Boogie was telling you last night, but I'm gonna tell you, buy some nice pajamas. Let me tell you why. Buy a nice set of silk pajamas, man. Cool set of pajamas. Some shit that feels good because you're going to be wearing the bottoms. She's going to be wearing the goddamn top. That's what she's going to sleep in. And there is nothing sexier to me than a woman in a man's top. A woman in a man's dress shirt with some, some, with some heels on. <sighs> Forget about it. The same effect can happen with, with a woman in your pajama top. So when the day is over, the evening's over, when everything is over, she goes her way, you go your way. But being with you is an experience because you're a grown goddamn man. I don't care if you work in Walmart in the daytime and quick trip at nighttime. I don't care if you live in a studio apartment with Ikea furniture. Nigga, I did that too. And that was the same cat. It's a mindset. You don't have to wait until you make six figures to, to do this shit. Sorry. Phone has been going off over here. I haven't been paying attention. You guys have been sending me information I don't know. Okay. So, I kind of went off on a little tangent there. Because I want you brothers to start valuing yourselves. I don't do this shit to impress nobody. I do this for me. I dress this way for me. For me, always have. There's a level for you too. I want you to enjoy you 
in each step, in each phase in your life. When you come home, your house needs to be set up like a masculine, uh, a masculine man's pad. If you smoke cigars, you need to have a humidor there. You know, let me say something else. You know, don't be afraid to actually have a, a housekeeper come in and clean once a month. The baseboards and the blinds and all that shit, the shit that nobody wants to do, but man, that's important, especially in the springtime, do the ceiling fans and all that other shit. Somebody tell me I'm lying. Somebody tell me I'm lying. All right. <clears throat> Let me see what's going on in the chat room. See, what I'm seeing is a lot of brothers are feeling that. And the thing is, you build up to it. You start by taking care of you. Then you take care of the things that are yours. Your car is your car. Take care of it. Your place is your place. Again, keep the floors clean. Carpet shampooed. You know, oh, oh, hold up. Let me back up. Sorry, I'm I back up. Clean your goddamn bathroom. Nigga. Wash that pissy ass rug around the toilet. Keep Clorox wipes next to the toilet. Power wash that motherfucking toilet. You got caked on piss and urine back up under that motherfucker from the night you had too many Heinekens. You can't smell your own piss until it gets real bad. We can. You want to you wanna close some pussy up quick? Have a fucked up bathroom. Clean that fucking toilet. This is where you get the maid to come in and clean it right, and then you maintain that shit. Every Saturday morning, you need to go in there with the fucking power washer and just dump some fucking Lysol and let do like your mama used to do. Throw some pine saw on that shit, let it soak, let it marinate, open the goddamn windows, and then clean the goddamn tub. If you niggas don't start cleaning your bathtub, how the fuck are you standing in the mud? Taking a bath. Clean your damn tub. Clean that fucking shower mat thing and clean the uh, shower grip. Change your shower liner. Clean the walls. Wipe off the soap scum. Your bathroom needs to look like a chick's as far as cleanliness. But it needs to look like a man as far as masculinity. Your counter. Oh, your mirror. Nigga, if you don't get all that toothpaste off your mirror, you don't get all them spots and shit off your mirror, nigga, really? If your shit don't get organized, if you don't go to Marshall's and spend $19.99 and get you a, 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 tooth, a toothbrush holder, a cup, and, and, and you know, just that little basic shit. If you don't go get you a little vase and put some marbles in it or some rocks or some shit over there in the corner, so just some cool masculine shit. Just and, and keep that shit clean. And when you clean your you clean the countertop, you gotta move all the shit off your countertop. Don't wipe around it. Move the shit off. Wipe around it. And when you think you've done a good enough job, do it again. Cause of that. Cause we nasty. We're men. We miss shit. God's sake, clean the toilet. Keep a plunger nearby, because you know how you like to take them King Kong shits. Keep a plunger nearby. Drop some tidy blue or simply blues or whatever in the to in the in the back of the uh shit and that shit there to where the water turned blue. And keep one of the little funky things in there to, to where every time you flush it. It, it, it freshens the bowl. Trust me, bro. His, his brother, his brother, where's the brother that sends me the, uh, the 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 soap in the room spray? This is where you need to actually get you some Febreze, 
and a candle and a match. Yeah, you need to keep your bathroom needs to be good, man. Your bathroom needs to be good. You need to be able to eat out of your bathroom. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. If you can do this, you'll be good. Because you can be a lame nigga. You can be a lame dude, but if you keep your shit clean, she'll fuck with you. She'll fuck with you. I'm telling you, she'll fuck with you. She'll be like, you know what? Yeah, I can work with this dude. Why, girl? His bathroom smell clean. He'll, she'll fuck with you. The other side of it. Gotta keep the refrigerator clean, too. Yeah, nigga, you. You gotta keep the refrigerator clean. You got jelly stains and shit. And, and and sticky shit all throughout the refrigerator. No, nah, man. No, nah, you need to take them damn shelves out, put them in the sink, apply some hot water, soap, and some effort. Clean that shit. Power wash that entire motherfucking refrigerator. Get them lettuce chunks, bacon bits, uh, leftover tomato bites, old Parmesan cheese, uh, unused ranch dressing, you know, fucking spoiled milk, dry ass olives. You need to just clean all that shit out from the top down. Clean it all out. Clean the trays out. Start over. And organize your shit. That's right, nigga. Organize it. I'm not talking about some, you know, OCD kind of shit where the labels all need to be, but it needs to be, have some organization to it because you're a grown goddamn man. You don't need to have juice boxes and you don't have kids, so you ain't got to have juice boxes and, you know, string cheese and shit everywhere. Make it look like a fucking man to where she can, where you can at least go grab the olives and cheese and whipped cream and whatever the fuck you got in there. It needs to be organized. Clean that goddamn freezer. Nigga, you ain't that you ain't ate that dressing that your mama gave you six months ago. Throw that shit out. If you don't take that goddamn birthday cake out of there from your last birthday or whatever and get rid of that shit. If you don't know what's in the aluminum foil, nigga, get rid of it. That ice that's in the ice maker that you allowed to, to, to fill up too much, dump it. Cause it got freezer burn. And it tastes like shit. Dump it. And then put your ice maker on a lower setting to only make the ice you need. Clear out all the shit that you ain't using. The shit that it expired, get rid of it. Carry your ass over to the pantry and do the same thing. If, the, if you still got ramen noodles in there from college, get rid of them. See, the, men cannot do pack rat shit like women do. We got to keep our shit minimal. Keep all this shit clean. Just get rid of it. If there's any question, just throw it away. Because when your kitchen is clean, organized, when somebody goes into your um you till it, your your utensils drawer, and you actually have a utensils holder, and your and your silverware is stacked the right way. When your counter is clean, to where you rub your hand across it, you don't feel coffee grounds and salt and pepper, and you can do like this, and it doesn't get stuck because you have some fucking syrup or some shit there. Man, all this kind of shit says stuff to people, and you too. That's so why I say sometimes it's better just bring in a housekeeper, I mean a maid, and let them do a spring cleaning, and you just maintain the shit. <clears throat> Am I lying? <laughs> yeah, it was my. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, you know. Huh. Huh. Grown damn man shit. If you don't get rid of all them fucking paper cups, plastic cups from uh. Five Guys Burgers and the Snack Shack and all that shit. I mean, get rid of all them fucking advertisement for everybody else. Get rid of that shit. Get you eight glasses, eight shot glasses. You know, get a get your get a get a set of get a set of dishes. 
matching plates, matching side plates, matching bowls. Get your shit to match. Get rid of all that plastic shit. Every last bit of it. All of it. Get you a nice knife set. Carbon, uh, carbon steel is better. Get you a coffee maker. K-cup dispenser, preferably. Telling you, man, when you start doing shit at this level, or you, then you can start actually having people over and entertaining. Oh, you don't want to drink? How about some coffee? We have espresso. What, what do you like? Pot sets. I'm gonna get to that. <clears throat> but most dudes don't cook. But when you, but when you do start cooking, your your pots need to match. Thing is, man, you start with the end in mind. Because you know when you've been into somebody's kitchen and it's looked nice, you're like, damn, this kitchen is cool as fuck. That's you. That's you. Because, gentlemen, we're minimalist living when we get into these areas. But you're talking about you want a rotation and all this other kind of stuff. They need Your place needs to be a place they're looking forward to going to. Your place needs to be Disneyland-like. Yeah. Some place that you also enjoy being. In your bedroom. Get a set of sheets, niggas. Not, not that cheap shit. I said get you a satin pillowcase for the women's hair. But you need to get some nice sheet with a high thread count. You know, the, you know, with a with a bed pad between your, your mattress. See, the thing is, I believe in getting a good bed. Um I rarely talk. I rarely. I rarely. Let me show you. I'm not going to go show you my bedroom. I don't take. I don't like taking people through all throughout my house. Uh, what does your bedroom look like, man? Um. What is the name of their place? Get <clears throat> suburban. Get you some nice sheets. Get you some nice sheets. That's what you do. You get you some nice sheets. <clears throat> you get you matching sheets. And you go for it. You don't want a bunch of shit that looks, uh, you don't want a bunch of shit that looks, you know, like you still had it from college. You don't want a bunch of shit look like you still had it from college. You just don't. Almost fucked up right there. Hmm. Get you a low profile bed. See, I like contemporary furniture. Get you a nice. You want to invest in your bedroom. Um, I'll show you guys a picture, but I don't want to show you my actual shit. <laughs> oh. Where is it? I love this. So, you want to get a nice bedroom. That's what you want to do. You want to get a nice bedroom set. You want to have a bed that you want to come home to. That's what you want to do. You want to have a bed that you want to, that you would like to come home to. Um, because you spend so much time in the bedroom. You spend so much time in the bedroom. Spend so much time in the bed. You might as well enjoy it. I'll show you something that's kind of like what I have. Okay. What you're seeing on the screen is kind of like what I have, except right here, like around here. Uh, there's there's lights on the undercarriage of the bed. And right here, there's slits with lights. So when the light is off, 
you, you can just see the, the bed looks like it's floating on some light. It's low profile to where, you know, and it's a, cal and it's a king size bed. So uh, I love this. I love, I love that color. See, that's masculine. That looks cool. You want to make sure you have a good bed. How much is the mattress you're sleeping on? How much did you spend for the mattress you're sleeping on? Mm-hmm. You need to invest money in a good mattress. A good mattress is important. So many of us just grew up with that, you know, air mattress, that kind of shit. You need to invest money in a good mattress, good sheets. You know, your bedroom needs to be a, a place because, I mean, you're spending a third of your life there. You know, several thousand dollars for a mattress, it's not unreasonable. Get a nice 20-year guarantee, a 20-year 20 20-year mattress. Memory foam, good pillows. Good pillows, too. See, this is grown man shit. Good mattress, good pillows, nice bedroom set, nice sheet set, cool comforter, a nice throw. All these things matter. You don't have you don't want to have to <clears throat> don't go down to the local big box uh furniture store and buy, you know, stuff that looks like it belongs in you know, a, a five, you know, a six parent, a six, fa a six person family house, get you contemporary stuff, get you a nice, get you a nice armchair with a, with a footstool. Uh, you can get you a, a couch or a nice love seat, you know, a small coffee table, a nice little dinette and put some art up on the walls, put some art up on the walls. Light the paintings, light the artwork, put the appropriate lighting around there. This is cool man shit. Do it yourself. Run the lighting up and actually get you pieces that actually fit your personality that can actually come in. Because when you sit down and you see this cool armchair, that's your seat. She said, I asked over there. I have a love seat. I don't have a couch. I have a love seat. Because if I'm going to sit in the love seat next to you, ain't going to be a lot of room between us. You're not going to get over there and be over here. No, we're going to be right up on each other. <clears throat> Classic. How many of you guys know how to furniture shop? Yeah, there's super chat right here. Super chat is right here. <clears throat> Moderators, keep putting this super chat link in the in the uh yeah. Guys, knowing how to actually Furniture shop is important as a man because you want to have stuff that actually looks like you. See, my <clears throat> the stuff I have is simple classic stuff. Um, it's meant to be useful. It's not meant to be lived in. The living room is a place to where you go entertain for a little bit, but you don't just sit there for eight hours watching TV. You entertain. You need to have your house, your place, your apartment, your whatever, to where you can actually entertain and keep it moving. But the bedroom is where you spend the most of your time. Um, I'll talk about, you know, I have a video on, on here. Uh, I wonder do I still have it? 
where I uh, actually went furniture shopping. Is it still here? Let me see if I still have it, guys. If I still have it, um, I'll do the video on it. Um, somebody asked about my glasses. Let me see. Yeah, the kind of frames you have are important. Suburban. Hmm. I don't think I have it on here anymore. Well, too bad. Anyway, furniture shopping is uh, it's one of those things that's very personal. But men's furniture, a classic masculine kind of furniture, this needs to be functional. You don't need a bunch of frilly and fluffy stuff. So, all right, let me go ahead and wrap this up. We've been going pretty, been going pretty long here. I don't want to drag this on too long. So let me see if I have any questions. <clears throat> yeah, see, let's say you like music. Understand something. Inviting a woman to your house to listen to old vinyl records or to invite her up to listen to music, your place needs to be like a fly trap. If I get you to my spot, that's a wrap. Because when I open the door, you're going to be hit with a nice waft of cool, sexy, masculine smelling air. When I turn on the light, you're going to see a clean, well-appointed masculine pad. Hit the little uh, remote, turn on the music, go in there, get, pour a glass of wine. We're sitting there on the, I'm in my chair, you're on the love seat. We're sitting across with the dinette, man. <laughs> your, your shoes are already off. She's getting comfortable and she's like, oh yeah. You need to keep food around the house too. You need to keep snacks. <clears throat> olives, cheeses, these things are great. Finger food snacks. Um, and they and then and they and they last a long time too. If you really want to up your game, you know, you want to keep things uh, you know, keep fruit around. Um, but you want to have something where you can actually talk with, talk and move. So, guys, I hope this was I hope this was helpful. I hope this was helpful because at the end of the day, so many guys are trying to get to the end. Man, I'm just trying to smash. I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to holler. But then you wonder why certain guys talk about it and seem to have a higher level of success than you're having. It's because they've done all this. This is all the groundwork. This is all the groundwork and the stuff that. You may not have heard about, you may not have, you don't know exists. This is how a cat like uh, AMS can build up his rotation. This is how, you know, you build up that kind of stuff because everything about you, everything about you needs to say grown damn man. That's what it does. And there is a difference between a grown damn man, a man, an adolescent, a teenager, and a boy. And one of the first things I said when I came over to the Manosphere side of YouTube is drop the Jordans. We got too many guys dressing like boys. How would they know if you go to the mall, look at a 40-year-old man and a fifth grader, and how can you tell who's who? Because they're both in graphic tee, jeans, and ball cap, and tennis shoes. That pissed guys, that pissed dudes off. But I didn't tell a lie. What I was really saying is there's levels to this shit, gentlemen. You can decide what it is you want. And here's the thing, especially for a lot of you dudes who are talking about you want beautiful women. If you want a seven, eight, nine, let's not even talk about 10. If you want a seven, eight, or a nine, 
you're gonna have to have because seven is pretty you're gonna have to have your shit together when you have women that are pretty guys holler and you want to be the upgrade like i said last night if you didn't see that stream go watch it you want to be the one she upgrades to Instead of worrying about women cheating and women, female nature, hypergamy, when you are the upgrade, you don't worry about all that other kind of stuff. She fucks up and makes a mistake, next. All right, let me make sure. Uh, I, let me see if there are any questions that came in. I was kind of in the zone. Um, I was in the zone. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I didn't want to kind of, I didn't want to get stuck. I didn't want to stop. So if I didn't get your question, you on point, Noob. Thanks, Fire. Guys, here's the thing. You are so much more than you give yourself credit for. I talk about some topics that I know a lot of people don't touch. Um, this whole under 40, still living at home with your parents thing there you know there's so many guys out there who are so much more than they are you've made some mistakes you've made some bad choices you've gotten stuck listen to me now you've gotten stuck so many guys have gotten stuck good dudes good hearted dudes good men who gotten stuck and they don't have anyone that they can talk to because the shame they feel for getting stuck is embarrassing. The guilt they feel for not having done more or been more is, is almost more than they could bear. The fact that they're still waking up every day to, to soldier on is a testament that they are good men, but you've gotten stuck. But what I'm trying to do is try to give, trying to give you, trying to reach into your world and, realize, and let you realize there's hope. There's hope. There's hope for us all. And all you have to do is decide you want to do something different. And then just don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about how to get unstuck. All I need you to worry about is to make the next right decision. That's it. Make the next right decision. What's the next right decision? Tomorrow, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm not going to worry about how many pounds I'm going to lose. I'm not going to worry about, you know, how much muscle I'm going to gain. I'm just going to go to the gym and I'm going to work out. I'm going to make the next right decision. Then I go to the gym. Then what's the next right decision? I'm going to drink water. I'm not going to drink that Coca-Cola. I'm not going to drink that other stuff. I'm going to drink water. Then I'm going to make the next right decision. Instead of just going home and sitting down on the couch, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go outside and play. I'm going to go out to the mall and I'm going to just sit down in the in the middle of the mall and I'm going to people watch. Every mall has a little central spot. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to charge up my phone. I'm going to just sit down there and people watch. But while I'm there, I'm going to be dressed in some cool jeans. And I'm going to have on a cool shirt. I'm going to spray on some Aqua de Gel Profumo. And I'm going to just go be there. And I'm going to just be around and let the world happen. I'm going to get that sun on my skin, get, get that vitamin D that I need. If you don't have a cologne or whatever, you go to Sephora in the mall and you spread it on. Then you go sit down there and you just say, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to do that for two hours. So while I'm there in the central area, I'm going to be reading 48 Laws of Power or listening to a podcast or something. But I'm going to be there. But I'm going to have my head up and I'll be watching the next right decision. And from there, I'm going to go have me a, a, a good lunch. You know, maybe I'll go, you know, to Panera Bread and get the um, pick two. And I'll get a half a sandwich and I'll get soup. And I'll eat the half a sandwich now and I'll eat the soup later. Or I'll get salad and or a sandwich and salad. So I get some greens in. And then after I eat lunch, and I'm tempted to go back home. I'm gonna go to another side of town and I'll go to the local Starbucks. And instead of going home and sitting in, in my couch and getting online, I'll go to Starbucks and sit at Starbucks and get online. 
but I'm going to be around people. And instead, and then after six hours is gone and I've actually, you know, got out, been at the mall, had lunch, gone to Starbucks, then I'm going to go and go home. Knowing that I've done more in one day than I've done all year. And I just made the next right decision. And then Sunday, I'm going to do it all over again. You know what? I'm, you may even decide to go back to church. Just, just to go see what's happening. You may decide to go go visit your mother's church. You know, call and holler at your dad. Hey, dad, what's going on? It's Sunday. Holler at your boy. What's going on, man? Yeah, man, let's go over to Buffalo Wild Wings and watch the game. Talk to somebody you ain't talked to in a while. Don't just sit at home. But see, that makes you have to get out of the house. Make the next right decision. Then when you do that, you come home and say, you know what? I've been intending to, cl to clean out that garage. I've been intending, then you know, I need to clean that bathroom up like Kevin said. Get in there and clean that bathroom up. Use that four to six hours until you're just sitting there. Because I guarantee you, when you lay your head down Sunday night to go to bed, to go to, to start your weekly routine, your subconscious will say, hmm, that's different. All right. But your rational brain would be like, ah, we did something different. All right. Not so bad. Had a good weekend. I kind of like this. And then the next right decision is to choose to do it the next weekend too. And before you know it, you'll look up and it's been 30 days and you'll have set in path, a new neural pathway and a new habit. And before you know it, it'll be 66 days and it'll be part of your nature, just like breathing. And you'll look up and it'll be summertime and you'll have made more friends, more associates, possibly met women to actually interact with, date, whatever, you will have actually engaged in life and experience a summer heading into the fall, which is football, school, and everything else season with a whole new outlook on life because you just decided to make the next right choice. That's grown damn man shit too. It's your choice, gentlemen. Your choice. All right. Thank you guys so much. I know it's late. Um, go ahead and shut this thing down. Till next time, talk at you later. Big bro out.